everybody, Jasmus right here, back for another video. This is the introduction to the Saturday and Sunday of Auto Assembly. Uh, the footage that is going to be shown is mainly the p mainly the panels, no, the panels I've attended at Auto Assembly, and they're mainly the voice actor panels because I'm always interested in voice acting and everything. So, so, uh, so it's going to be like that. It's going to be something interesting to do with. And it's going to be really interesting how I've done these. I didn't get any of the dealer room or the dealer area area videos like I did in some of the cases and some of the other AA videos I did five, four, four and five years ago. But this time, I think the panels I just wanted to show those. I got a clip of P.S. Bellos doing his uh, sky bike because I really have fallen in love with that guy. He's a great man. Pia Spellos is a wonderful, warm, warm, welcoming man, and and I will talk more about that later on in my thoughts actual video in the thoughts section of the video of this video because I got a lot of footage that I need to splice together because there's some bits of the panels that I didn't be able to catch like just a few seconds or a few minutes of the panel because of me forgetting to record because my camera only records 90 minutes of footage. At, at a time, so I really, so I really had to quickly repress record so I could try and get the full thing. But me trying to also look out, not through the viewfinder or the screen on my camera, it's really hard for me to do that. But yeah, so this is just an introduction video of what's going to be happening, what happened on the panel. Smart, smart, smart. Somali, Montoya, or Montana panel was on Saturday. The opening ceremony was great. I think I've captured some footage of the opening ceremony. And I have got some photos that I will be posting at the end of this video as well for you guys to enjoy as well. And everything. So yeah, this has been Jasmine's Rider and this has been the introduction to the auto assembly video of 2015. Hopefully you enjoy. The reason I'm posing is because there's a lot of mixed emotions going into this convention. We know it's the last time we'll gather here together as auto assembly. But there's no reason for us to be sad about it because we're going to have an amazing time, am I right? Yeah! Am I right? Yeah! Am I right? Yeah! Yeah, of course I'm right. I'm always right. Isn't that right, Grace? No. <laughs> A stunned silence. So, ladies and gentlemen, just before we kick off and invite all of our guests to the stage, a couple of things to do. Uh, you will all have a pass. Does anybody not have a pass? Get out. I'll buy you a ticket, one of the two, I'm not bothered. Um, on the back of your pass, you will have... I like how everybody... <laughs> never bothered looking at the back before. Yeah. On the back you will have an itinerary. It is a shortened down itinerary. It is some of the highlights that we have for you. But, if you go to your Sagatronia Times, you will have the full itinerary for this weekend. So, just in case you haven't got your Sagatronia Times, let me give you a quick rundown of what's happening today. Uh, after the opening ceremony, uh, our Guests of honour have graciously agreed to uh, continue signing for us for a little bit longer. So if you need to get anything signed, you can head just over there. Um, at 12 o'clock, Mr. Simon Furman and Mr. Andrew Wildman will be joining us on stage. Uh, followed uh, at 1.30 by Mr. Jim Sorensen. And then at uh, 3 o'clock, Somali will be joining us on stage. Yeah, and then we'll be rounding out the activity here in the main hall at uh, 4 o'clock with the IDW panel, Mr. James Roberts, Alex Mill, Andrew Griffin, and Nick Roche. Yeah, and then we've always got the Saturday night. We also have uh, some other stuff going on in the alternative program room, which, if you go out of here, 
down the corridor and turn right, you should find it. It's clearly marked, you'll be fine. We've got some great art workshops going on there throughout the course of the day. So check out your Cybertronian Times. Uh, a couple of other things uh, for you to be aware of. Um, obviously, we've got the dealers here and stuff. Go pay them a visit. Who's been buying toys already? <laughs> Who's still going to buy toys? <laughs> yeah, that's what I, like to I can't. <laughs> Um, I'm of course, don't out. forget as well, we have our fantastic artist Sally just at either side of the control desk. Um, and we've got all the rest of our fantastic talent and guests over at the far side as well. Uh, we've also got a bunch of cars outside. We've got a truck, um, what's his name? <laughs> uh, Ultra Magnus? Hoover! Uh, uh, Optimus Prime! So go pay that one a visit as well. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that I've forgotten something. And that's why, whenever this convention takes place, I always have a little gopher, a little friend to join me, somebody who is the spike to my spark plug, the <laughs> minimus to my power suit, I don't even know how that works. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Billy Edwards. said to me, Billy, will you be the deputy head of Auto Assembly? And I said, oh my god, what do I have to do for you to give me that opportunity? And he said, well, you have to dress like a barcode. Um, so, yeah. you know, that happened. Uh, he said, you have to make a fool of yourself on stage. I said, okay, well that's fine. I've got one condition, Simon. Never, ever, ever give me an intro video. So thank you to everybody on the desk for making that happen. A big round of applause for the desk team. Woo! Just think, it took all these years for me to get on the screen. I mean, I still wish I wasn't, but it took all these years. It, it's the last auto assembly. But something great happened for the last auto assembly as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been joined by Michael from Hasbro themselves. Please give them a big round of applause. Michael will be on hand this weekend. The idea is please go over to his desk, which is in that corner. He is taking email addresses and he would like to give you the opportunity to get in touch with Hasbro and vice versa. So please take the time to do that during the weekend. Okay. Let me try and get it. I'm going to take that voice out of my ear now so I can continue. Right, unfortunately, as ever, it befalls to me to do the boring things at this time. So. Are we all up for pretending that the boring things are exciting? Just one last time. Yeah! Okay. So, when I say things like, walk, don't run, instead of nodding, you're going to say... Yeah! 
Excellent, this is what we like. Okay, so here is the deal. We are in a room called the Monarch Suite. This is not the Palace Suite which we have used in the past. Therefore, in the event of a fire, if you run in the direction you would have when we were in the Palace Suite, you will not live long. That is not a good thing, so we're going to try and avoid that at all costs. So I'm going to tell you where the fire exits are. And please be careful with them, because not all exits are operational. And yes, that is allowed. I have checked it. So here is the deal. The big doors you came through over there are fire exits. Walk a little bit further, and they will take you to the outside world. Now that's great, but in the event of a fire, something like 80% of people immediately look for the door they came from, even if they stood right next to a door. And worryingly, even if the fire's on that door, they'll still run for it. So don't do that. So, as well as those fire exits, we have one at the back, two at the back there, and a long row of them across this wall. In the event of an Uber emergency, we can even open this wall, which is a bit creepy, but we will do it for you. So, top tip there. Another top tip. You see the doors along the side of this room, all the way around. The ones that don't have fire exit logos above them, are not fire exits. Now, hiding in a cupboard in the event of a fire, in my experience, is something that's not compatible with human life. So, I don't recommend that you do that. So please don't. Please go out. Please walk out safely. Please be careful in the aisles with tripods, or I'm looking at you, and anything like that, just to make sure everybody is okay today. Um, one final thing on that point, I have checked with the hotel, there is no fire drill today, so if you do hear the bell, please assume it's real. Um, and that's about it really. I think at this point, David, I need to hand back to you, and get off this ultimately horribly embarrassing stage segment that you guys have put me through today, because I think there are some people who are more deserving of this spot who are waiting to come up right now. I think so too. Ladies and gentlemen, give Billy a big hand. <laughs> Billy, it's stolen my microphone. Bring it back. <laughs> Simon said it was a perk of the job that I could keep one of these afterwards. You're not keeping the microphone. They were not keep Billy, he told me. Billy, he told me. Billy! <laughs> Strips. <laughs> Six years and no microphone. Right then, so are you ready to meet some people, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. So, we've always tried at Auto Assembly to bring you the best lineup we possibly can, and as this is the last time we're going to do this, this lineup is absolutely phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. I can't express the quality of talent that we have here today. All, all I can do is bring them to the stage and introduce you to them. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's meet our Auto Assembly 2015 guest lineup. is breaking. Thank you all for being here for this special moment. It's a pleasure to see you all again. Once again, I came for the wrong convention. I came for the colonic irrigation con that's going on. I brought all the wrong stuff to my table, so... Come over anyway. We'll talk. it will be great. It is a pleasure to be here on the last one. It's been a pleasure here to be here, excuse me, for everyone. I hope everybody has an amazing weekend, and come and say hello. Wait for... 
to that. I've no idea what those two guys are going to talk about, but it's going to be really, really interesting because they've been around a long time and Andrew Wildman and Simon Furman have always got something to say. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it'll be great. So it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm here all weekend. Oh, and we have myself and Jason Carney, for those that don't know, as a celebration of this final um, auto assembly, we've done a large format lithographic print, um, which is a reimagining of the poster that appeared. Somebody's holding it up over there, that's Jason, there you thank go. you very much. Um, so we have those, it's a limited edition of 200, so if you want to come and grab one of those, get them while you can. I will see you at my table, or Jason will see you at his table. Thank you very much, see you later, bye. She's a cover artist for IDW, um, doing what meets the eye next month. Um, nice to see you. I'm Kei Zama uh, from Japan. Uh, called as uh, Kei Kitazawa or Doriku. Anyway, yeah, so uh, basically what I do is. Uh, uh, my company does production for Japanese artists and uh, gets them seen in the West here. And there are some amazing artists in Japan. And among them, I think that K is just the best. You guys are going to know it. You see more than ECI next month. I mean, yeah. So um, anyway, we're we're really psyched to meet you. It's going to be great to hang out this weekend. <laughs> we're kind of figuring out how you guys do this over here. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, anyway, um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I want to talk to each of you guys. We'll be, the, we'll be at the bar. We'll be partying. And, you know, uh, so uh, can't wait to see you guys this weekend. Um, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next up.
everyone. 2003 was the first one of these I came to, and uh, they've never really been able to get rid of me since. So, uh, here I am again, and I've always been very proud and pleased to support this event, and just see how much it's grown since the sort of 200 people who came to the first one I was at. So yeah, it's really amazing to be here. Very sad it's ending, but uh, Andrew's already used my never ends line, so. <laughs> anyway, cheers, great to see you all. Transformers Legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Vector Prime himself, Mr. Jim Sorensen! Uh, thank you so much for having me back for what's going to be my fifth and everyone's final auto assembly. I've been coming to the UK every year since 2010 because this convention means so much to me and it's because of the people. I've, I've heard that there's over a thousand people this year. I hope to meet as many of them as possible. Thank you for having me. Because this time, they've got nothing to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big hand as they leave the stage. All of our fantastic guests, 